What's up, what's up? Hope everybody's doing well today. We're gonna do a reading a little bit different. We're gonna do it how I do it, like the vibe of the TikTok, but we're gonna bring it over here on YouTube because it's kind of quiet. So I'm gonna see how I feel. All right, already shuffle and split the deck. All right, we got judgment. Judgment. Okay, hold up. All right, cool. So somebody's calling judgment on a situation. Maybe the angels are working on your behalf. I'm not sure right now, but it looks like a final decision, final verdict is here. Let's see what's going on. Ooh. All right. All right. We're going to talk about it. We got to talk about it. Do you want to? Do you want to? Let's do it this way. I don't know. I just love it. All right. Cool. So this is what we're going to do. First and foremost, something's coming in quick. We are moving very fast at a rapid rate. It looks like this Empress right here. She has a new beginning. She has manifested a new beginning. She's birthed it. It's here. It's time. She's going into labor. You feel me? And it's quick. It's coming in very quick. Oh, man. It looks like she also has many options. Maybe she's confused about what's going on, but she's there's many options and avenues for her to go down. All right. Okay. All right. It looks like I'm going to be real with you. It looks like she may have been stuck upon one particular offer for some time, right? But it, did, it fell through, left her feeling left out, poverty, lack, or less than, a bit confused and lost in her mind and her thoughts. So she had to transition herself, and that's how she came about birthing this new beginning for herself. Shout out to the Empress. This is what I'm talking about, yo. This is what I'm talking about. Okay, what else I get to know about this? Okay. All right, so apparently we're we going to get the, the bad parts, too, of this story. So what forced this beautiful energy to walk away was a betrayal. Ten swords to the back, neck, chest, side of the face. Pro I, I don't even want to keep going, but there's ten of them. So you can imagine where else they went. And it was a very painful ending, if I must add. Ooh, it seems to be it was a karmic situation. So it's like she actually put herself in this situation. So it was just happening back to back to back to back to You feel me? Like, we ain't, we're not making no beats, no tracks right now. But you feel me? A repetitive uh, cycle. Nonetheless... <sighs> Not unless she made it out of there. Oh, King of Wands. Everybody loves the King of Wands, right? You look good, fiery, natural leader. You feel me? Single, alpha like. You feel me? But when in the lower vibration, what she feels like, it's a bit of a problem. And we'll leave it at that. And we'll leave it at that. But everybody loves a bad boy, right? Everybody loves a bad boy. But look how bright that is. Look how bright that is. She had no choice but to walk away from this. Let's get some insight on this right here. Yeah? Yeah. What's going on with that situation? Okay. So we have the Knight of Swords. Oh, so this is the situation where she called judgment on. Very good. All right. Cool. Cool. Is this the situation where she took her power back and stepped up on a throne and then she was like, you know what, I'm out of here. Charged up out of there, like, you feel me? Took initiative. Was this her karm her masculine, but was in his her masculine was in karmic energy and didn't close out the cycles, you know, was still doing the same nonsense from beforehand, not realizing you have an empress on your hands? I don't know, but she was quick to be like, yeah, buddy, you're out. I can't do this. I'm... I'm not going to do this. Yeah. She wouldn't be an empress if she took it. I'm telling you now. She would not be an empress if she was still in this situation. She might have been an empress in reverse or queen of cups in reverse, but nonetheless, unacceptable. Unacceptable behavior. But what I do like is that everybody's in the upright. Well, he would be in the upright until he hit the table. But I'm glad everything else is in the upright. You feel me? The devil could be in the reverse, but it's all good. Okay. So it looks like somebody's a bit stuck in their head just a little bit. All right. Might be the other soulmate. Oh, yeah. Look at them. The one who was juggling the Queen of Cups, right? Yeah. Now he's stuck in his head. What's going on with him? Huh? Can you see that over there? We finna do this. Nah, we good. Why, why is he stuck in? Why are the Eight of Swords for this particular masculine and this woman? Because the situation is done and she's successful with the Nine of Pentacles. And he wants to come forward to collaborate interesting you want to work with her now that she's somebody let's talk about her being somebody Ooh, this is justice this is karmic justice this is what happens when you don't know what you have in front of you you feel me and i tell people this all the time it's like gold you feel me 
You feel me? Me personally, I grew up with gold. I know what gold is. I know how to maintain it. I know how to spot it in the raw, dirty form. I know how to work with it, polish it. I know what it looks like when it's all polished up. I know what the different grays look like. You feel me? I grew up with gold. So, you know, my family groomed me to know how to operate, work, handle, and appreciate gold. Now, people who don't grow up with that luxury, they don't understand what gold is. So, they don't recognize gold when they see it. Right. So being that they don't recognize gold when they see it, they assume making an ass of them that uh, it's shiny. And we already know everything that glitters is usually plated. It's 2022. We got to be real. OK, so there's something we're not seeing, something he's not seeing. OK. All right. Let's talk about it. I believe he may be refusing to see something. I think he may be stuck in his head and still in a little vibration. I'm going to be honest with you. I mean, he could be a Capricorn. I don't know. But um, I'm feeling like he's he's stuck in his ego thinking, you know, I could come back whenever I want to. You know what I mean? Hold on. Right? It seems to be that this is his Ten of Cups, but is that even accurate? Is that even true? Can you believe a character like this? Ten of Swords? Ten of Swords? I'm glad we got that meditation music going. We got, we got, we got, okay. Oh, I can't see what that is, actually. All right, we're going straight to it. Let's go straight to it. All right, so we about to get some truth and clarity on the matter. Okay, let's talk about it. Okay, so it looks like this character is choosing to come forth and redeem himself. He sees this as, you know, his happily ever after. We already seen the 10 cups. All right now this is normal people's twin flame card the four one now me personally that doesn't make sense to me because it's four sticks in the mud that doesn't make sense to me now the temperance angel will make sense because it's all about the energies being balanced and you can't be an empress until you embody all four suits and then yada 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 now you're within one when you're the angel you have masculine and the feminine angel which is like the ankh you feel me like it's it's a lot it's levels to this it's levels to this stick with me stick with me anywho Oh, we still got more cards to talk about. See, I, I like the sound of my voice for some reason. And I like the fact that YouTube lets me run the clock. You feel me? Let's go. Anywho, so they're choosing to come back and possibly redeem themselves. Of course, you already know this free will. You can choose whatever you want. Like a betrayal like that. Can you really, would, do you want to invest in that? Like, yeah, you know I mean, yeah, I figured this Empress can birth anything she wants. Anything she wants. And if she embodies a masculine energy as well. Okay, so okay, so somebody's realizing that this is actually a gift from the most high. Uh, shout out to spirit. Okay, okay, that's what I'm talking about. So then the sun is illuminating this beautiful energy and everything about her. Very good. Very good. Okay, I like it. I love it, honestly. Let's get some more. Let's get some more. Spirit, talk to me. Talk to me. talk about it okay well it looks like the situation is done with the death card it looks like the three of swords is the justice that's justice i'm assuming for how he treated this energy this high priestess excuse me oh she's an empress and a high priestess Ooh, he messed up. He messed up. Anywho, look, can we clarify the three of swords, please, spirit? Yeah, I'm a little hard-headed over here. Thank you. Okay, we got the queen of cups. Bam, an apology. An apology. Truth and clarity. Okay. This There needs to be an apology given in order for there to be peace. I don't know what's going on in his life. I'm feeling like he's getting struck with tower after tower. Um, you know, back to back. I mean, 10 swords, that would be 10 towers, right? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. All right. Anything else, Spirit, before we wrap this up? Two of cups. So they're definitely soulmates, soulmate energy here. Definitely soulmate energy. 
somebody needs to get a perspective, see what they what they want to do. Right now they're waiting for an opportunity. Looks like somebody else is waiting for a new situation to come about. So I don't know. These two need to really figure out what they want. Not so much they, but the mask. Whoever wants to come forward and fix the situation really needs to get moving. Because it looks like this Empress energy, her new beginning's here. Yeah. And it's like the energy that's waiting for the, for the opportunity to come in and fix the situation. It's just watching from the sidelines. Just wait, waiting for an opportunity to come in. But how will you ever know when to come in if you're not in cahoots and communication with the person? That doesn't make sense to me. People don't think. Anything else, Spirit? Wounded warrior, tired, exhausted, fatigued, wanting to change and tra transition this situation, missing an opportunity, wanting to heal it, manifesting his Ten of Cups. All right, that's cool. So the King of Cups now officially has feelings for this energy. All right, they're feeling like this is a missed opportunity. They see this as their Ten of Cups, or it should have been their Ten of Cups happily ever after. Right? They should have healed the situation when they had the chance. They chose not to. Mm, this is tough, man. This is real tough. This is tough. We got King of Cups, King of Pentacles. Sneaking around with the Seven of Swords. Secretly hiding emotions and feelings with the moon. Attempting to choose a direction with the Two of Wands. But there's competition and conflict with the Five of Wands for this new beginning. I wonder why. Why? Why is, there, why is there competition and conflict? It's because it was surrendered. There's other people in the mix and other opposing energies staying in their guards so they're having sleepless nights because they now are in their divine masculine energy and upset with their decision and what they treated, how they treated the queen of pentacles. She's now in a passionate new pursuit. Motion of fulfillment walked away because he was a player. All right, that's enough. All right, guys, hope you guys enjoy the read. That was interesting. Um, yeah. This is why you do good the first time around. And, you know, usually... You gotta do better, kid. You gotta do better. We'll leave it at that. Shout out to the Divine Feminine. Congratulations on your new beginning. You deserve the best. And um, this masculine was in super karmic energy. So, Ixnay on a karmic save. All right, guys. I love you all. Mucho, mucho mas. I love and like.